My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? James, Zach, I'm doing well. What a weekend we had. Uh, my body is turning on itself like yours did as well. Yeah, Your I went eyeballs blind. fought you. I had a full day of being blind on Saturday. Cuts on my eyes. Diagnosis. Glasses for the next two to three weeks. A lot of serious topics on today's Weekly Dumb. This is a serious episode. This is a serious episode. I don't episode think there's a single weekly joke dumb. on this episode. This is just strictly news. And let's start off with the sports. Jake, what do you got? James, this is something that surprised everyone. It looks like the Oakland A's might move. No uh, way. To Las, Las Vegas. The four win Oakland A's who have a negative 103 run differential because they are tanking on purpose and actively are not trying to have fans come to their games. The Oakland A's who play in a coliseum where the away announcers cannot use the away announcers booth because a possum currently a possum has taken over has won the war and he's taken over or she the oakland a's who play in the coliseum who's away dugout routinely yeah. backs up with shit water because the septic tank floods poop poop poops games canceled away teams dugouts fold with shit john fisher all-time bad guy for oakland i don't think any a's fans are going to follow wow. the oakland team to las vegas because i have friends there it is like hatred i don't think so Baseball fans are proud, and they watch talking baseball. You didn't think we had that in us, did you, Zach? The next serious topic of the show. Raw. Jim, you were telling me about this. This almost a breakdown. It's a play on kind of the breakdowns. This is a video of a guy getting called up to the majors, Jake, for the yes. Pirates. Your first place, Pittsburgh Pirates. Drew Maggie, 13 year minor league veteran. What do you think about the name? Three, two, two one, one, six five and, and a half. half. Okay. It's, it's just above, it's mid, above mid average. for me. Yeah. It's better than Andrew Maggie, right? Andy Maggie. That's bad. Drew, Drew Maggie. Maggie. These Drew guys. Maggie. Yeah, I like it. Just bumped up to a 6.6 .6 for me. Maggie, you're going up. And everyone, there's like a oh, 13 years. Oh, my God. This guy. And they clap. And he's kind of doing, is he going to break down and cry? He doesn't have a shirt on. He's probably thinking, I wish I had a shirt on. You're filming this. And you hear someone go, speech. And I'm like, oh, man, it's tough to put the guy on the spot. And then his speech was, holy fuck. Let's fucking go! <laughs> like a party scene. And he won me over. When the light bulb goes off, because I think he almost thinks it's a prank at first. Because yeah. he's been playing bad this year, too. Come on, be cool. I'm sorry. It's a serious show. It's a serious show today. Rah. That once it goes off and he's like, I could give a shit less. Yeah. <laughs> See you, losers. Let's fucking go. <laughs> and then he gets a big, a nice hug from Shelty, yeah, Pittsburgh yeah. manager, too. And we like big hugs on this show. Oh. And I did like some of what the coach was saying. I just thought he made it too much about himself. He said, you know, some guys get one day and your your goal, your chance is to make it one plus. I like that because that's kind of like over under betting DraftKings. They're sponsoring this show. So I just worked that tie in. Oh, Thanks, DraftKings. Draft Let's kick it back Kings. to the sports on this serious episode of the weekly smart. James, your Japan who won the WBC, their crying baby sumo festival. You know, this happened annually. It's deep rooted in Japan's history. Basically, they have a 64 baby tournament and the baby who cries the loudest wins. We can tell a baby's health by listening to the way they cry. Right. <laughs> You're in the baby game. This is very easy to make a baby cry. Yeah. I don't know if I like this. I don't. It seems like we have other methods to see um, if the babies are healthy at this point. I think they got to be under six months and that's okay because at that point they're just potatoes and you just lock in for a day and say i'm gonna make 64 babies cry today oh raw it's a tough day you gotta have some demons speaking of demons <laughs> the not sports today is a doozy we probably didn't use it in the thumbnail or headline but it's the top and zach topic. was watching this at his desk and we were like wait we could maybe use this for the week yeah, have dumb. you seen this this is cool well i didn't like that i said that this is messed up. Parents are upset over a whipped cream licking event at Kennewick Middle School. And I am also upset over this event because I've got to show you this. It's a pep rally at the middle school and they're doing teachers versus students relay race. And one step of the relay race is licking lines of whipped cream off of a pane of glass opposite sides. So you're just tongue swiping this glass at the same time. And this kid right here, and that teacher, as far as that kid's concerned, they're making out. Yeah. And he's aroused. In middle school, you're looking at a person directly ahead of you. Basically nothing between your tongues. I mean, this this teacher, also a little suspect, I hate to say it. She's like, Am I I'm gonna I'm done? And then she's like, No, never mind. And she goes back for three more synchronized tongue licks with this kid. Uh um, Jake, if there was a pane of glass here. 
even as a gag, we would do it because we're two consenting Easily. adults. But I think we'd feel like that was that was intimate. No, I think you'd love it. Like if if we did that and we could freak people out in the office, you would love that. That's kind of your lane of humor. If we made like coworkers do it, even adults, it's fucked up. I still think you'd like it a little bit. There was one line where the teacher goes, "What's so wrong with what's so wrong with the relay race?" And it's like, well, yeah, that's a pretty straw man argument, dude. It's gross. One of the teachers went on like. A Caribbean vacation, oh. and this was like a couple's game hedonism. at the resort. Yeah, this is a hedonism event. They were like, "Oh, this will be great. This is hilarious." You put the kids in compromised positions. You lick them. The <sighs> school did not find the assembly an appropriate activity, and that's good. The activity does not have district approval. It will never be repeated in the future," said Superintendent Dr. Tracy Pierce. One. Two, three, seven. Four. Tracy with an I. Yeah. yeah. And the investigation. Fa- you they, a number? I said four. The investigation found the intent of the activity was innocent and not ill intended. Someone had ill intent. Yeah. Sorry for such a serious episode. Sorry for the serious. But did that kid guys. and that teacher made out? I don't know. <laughs> it's the employee of the, of the week. week. It's the employee of the week. Employee bragging rights for this week. This is the biggest crop of employees yeah. of the week I'm ever going to give out. I mean, if I'm them, I'm almost bummed out. It's like yeah. One well, it doesn't count. Yeah. It's going to the entire ball in play warehouse games crew who helped us put on a tournament this weekend that will come out in June because now the editors have to edit it. But yeah, look at that crew. A bunch of hardworking people, a lot of obstacles thrown their way and they all persevered and overcome. A lot of obstacles. I went blind. A lot of obstacles. All Saturday. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode was brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Baseball season is in full swing, and whether you're rooting for the home team or betting on your favorite player, DraftKings Sportsbook has got you covered for all this season's action. Right now, new customers can place a $5 pregame money line bet and get $150 in bonus bets if your team wins. So join the big league action now on DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app and sign up with code Dumb. Bet just five dollars in any pregame money line and get one hundred and fifty dollars in bonus bets if your team wins. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code Dumb. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Raw. You want me to say that into the mic again, Zach? Raw. Raw. Maybe you sneak those in all throughout the episode. Like word of the day. Raw. 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 I'm so raw. Wrong. How do I look? Raw.